the piss. Good evening, folks. This is Darth Ravage 07 coming to you today with another quick review. Today's quick review should have been done two years ago or almost two years ago. Summer 2022. Let's rewind the clock back just a little bit. I had the starts of my gallbladder acting up. I thought it was the stomach flu. So the day that I got this coming back from the beach at Topsail in the summer 2022, I was to drive my son to Knoxville and I stopped at home, picked up you know my transformer goodies that were waiting on me Jax's was waiting on me and then I drove to Knoxville and I didn't open it up and I didn't quick review it so I've had a stigma towards this guy and one other figure and I'll do her later but uh I I, I don't know if any of you guys may have had something like that and you just didn't get around to reviewing it and time had passed and now I'm getting ready to review Jax's from the legacy first wave of figures make sure to like share subscribe all the stuff down below Thanks again for watching. I'm just kind of curious to see if anybody else have had that one stigma that you just put that, you, you, you had every intention of reviewing something and then you pushed it back and pushed it back. But better late than never. Let's get Jaxus on the turntable and take a closer look at this guy. And here's a quick look at Jaxus in his box. He's got his Cybertronian jet mode here on the front. G2 Universe comic book accurate is for all heads and tails that I can see of this thing and the other reviews I've watched over time. There he is on the side of the box. This art is always priceless. I hate that this is paper thin boxes. I don't care much for that configuration. And I actually have a better configuration that works for me, especially with Nova Prime reutilizing this uh, year and a half old mold. And I didn't like the asymmetry in the gun. So this is actually the second one I kept in a box. And I got the other one where I can flip this stuff around. I, like I said, I can't handle the asymmetry. That's his shoulder grenade launcher thing of doom or whatever. And then, uh, actually have a different configuration for the guns altogether. I don't even use the red gun with this guy. I just keep with the smaller guns and have some pew pews that way. That side of the box, those things don't work no more, I don't think. And you can pause and scan here. If your Walmart is as good as my Walmart, you can still readily find these available in the store too because whatever Walmart's aversion to doing clearances, this stuff can be found still, even still. Uh, we have last summer stuff from the G2 uh, recolors. I saw like a bunch of Grimlocks at my store. We got a ton of cloud covers. And I keep seeing like uh, side swipe G2 colors, the Dorito Jazz color, uh, the Watermelon uh, Mirage. I see all of them. I've even seen a couple of dead ends, guys. So. Whatever Walmart's version is too, I wish they would clearance stuff out like Target does, move on to the new stuff. But Walmart here lately is not doing that. Not a fan of any of it. But you still get this guy in store is a plus for you and probably get it for dirt cheap. Uh, and like I was saying, I have one in box and I got one out of box and there he is in his jet mode. We're gonna start there. And this thing looks pretty good for our Cybertronian jet mode that I've not seen before and i didn't read the g2 comics i don't have any like connections with this guy whatsoever but it looks good off for intents and purposes i just am not a fan that he basically lands on his arms but being a cybertronian jet you can get by with that stretch i'd like to see landing gear be rolling and retractable and added back in instead of things getting cheapened out as they are and uh, that's where this thing is weakest in the, its jet mode this is just a hauled out piece of clear plastic waiting to break so that's my only negative nailed thing going on there and i really don't care for the wings that way so what i do is i take and fold these guys back up underneath here kind of like this and i don't like the way it looks like a bat and i fold it up one more time and there you go we have like a slicker looking cybertronian jet star cruiser mode uh, I, it works for all my intents and purposes for an alt mode for a vehicle with a character I have no connection to. So, I mean, I think that looks really, really good. I'll just go ahead and spin it around here in hand. Feels good in hand. And by all standards of today, this shouldn't be a Voyager class, but it's labeled that. It, is, it should be a leader class. So, I mean, anyway, I just really, really get bugged that this is now today's leader class pretty, pretty much period. And anyway, they'll probably re-release this again after Nova Prime and call it a leader class with a couple of extra parts and and then take $50 from you. But I probably won't go into it at that point. I've already spent a shit ton of money on this stuff to begin with. 
But all that said and done, I like having the guns right here on the sides plugged in, ported in. You do got a spot that you can take this thing and plug it back into and or you can put the big uh, red gun, grenade launcher or doom, into the top spot there. But I, like I said, don't really care for it in that look. I just think that looks dorky and I think this looks dorky as I'll get gone to. Not a fan of the way that looks either, guys. I just, just think it's lazy half-assedness. So, and you do got some more ports on the bottom there. You can do all that stuff there, like if you wanted to. But it just, it looks dumb. It's asymmetrical. It just, so I just put this with this other one over here. I'm gonna stick with these smaller guns. And uh, dynamite comes in small packages and stuff. I did order the Go Better kit to fill in this stuff and hopefully fix the haul on this since Hasbro's just too lazy to do that. Oh, another thing I was wanting to show you, a uh, fellow YouTuber, uh, Su Super Robot Ed, I get why he's totally not into this being used as uh, Nova Prime, but you can take and tuck this like a leg between the, t the a tail between the legs and you can get that. And then you can also do this kind of little configuration and make it look very kind of Star Trek-y, kind of crazy. It works. So, I mean, there's there's going to be hopefully this same feature to, to hide that tail fin and then have his uh, Nova Prime wings or whatever when it's this has been utilized as Nova Prime. <laughs> that said and done and the dog's interrupting, let's get this guy converted in three, two, one, and again, please forgive my dog's rudeness and my rudeness. Uh, I meant to do a comparison real quick, so let's get that on the table. To the Generations Thrill and 30, Jaxus, and this is the only other version I've got there. There they are side by side. These were really small deluxes to begin with, and that's just in the line of everything getting smaller, hollowed out, cheaped out, and I did some mods because I didn't like all this hanging off the back end here, so I like it like there, and I can make and scoot that forward with both sides right here and then still friction fire on by just pushing through there with my fingertips. But it's it's something you can do. It's the way I modded it. It's the way I like it. And I love these little submachine guns that this guy came with. It's really ugly in the bottom. But yeah, this is the only other Jaxxus I got. They had another uh, Jaxxus that was a Toys R Us exclusive, I do believe, that uh, borrowed the Vicon mold and did the same kind of orange and black. Maybe just a touch of, I can't really remember. I think it's orange and black, but yeah, they did that too. But this is what everybody really wanted. And I think the, for the most part, Hasbro did deliver on an accurate G2 version of Jaxus. Okay, now that said and done, and I took another minute of time, let's get this guy transformed and look at his robot mode up close. And here is Jaxus in his robot mode, imitating box art, imitating life pose. It's the best I could get him in there, guys. He's got the asymmetry with the guns and what have you there as we go around the turntable. He looks pretty solid thanks to some clever tricks there in the legs with the stuff. But the plastic just, in my opinion, didn't age well and feels cheaper. This arm has all sorts of trouble uh, getting it to hold up like at all. It just wants to rock down if I have the gun in it. So I kind of left it without a gun there. The back side. Uh, it cleans up good for the most part and it has little hollowness, but there's hollowness inside those legs just due to the way they do Transformers these days. They cyberverse it down and they get it all nappy and ugly and stuff. I really wish that they would use more durable quality plastic when coming to these projects like this. And you can store that gun on the back just like this. A gun within a gun default configuration there. So there's that. He has a uh, the nice articulation of the four fingers there. He's, he can still hold the five millimeter pegs with both hands. He's got some combat ports that you can weaponize him up with. He's got some on his legs there as well. The little wing things can be set out or you can fold them back in and around to your preference. That's how I like to do it. That's how I like to roll. And uh, there again, if you didn't have these things cleverly covering up, you'd have like all that gappage there so that that's a neat little transformation bit but it doesn't really stay locked together good on my copy your mileage may vary kind of thing uh let's uh get all the way around on the head joint there with the articulation you can look down you can look up you can get some attitude and just an overall ugly facial mode there you got a purple tempoed g2 deceptive symbol i do like that and then uh Articulation wise, you can get up just about that far there. I don't think you get anywhere else because of the way that's joints made there. Uh, you can go all the way around. You can dislocate 
the back and get it all the way around if you need to kind of thing there you got upper bicep swivel you got that weak elbow on this side it can go up that far but like if there's anything being held in this hand it will do not good at all you can get all the way around the wrist on that mushroom peg right here and the hollowness really sucks all the same i like that you can do that that should be a staple hold and or if not for the price of these that go for these days these should be in individually articulating fingers that grip into a five millimeter peg just like you see there that's just my own personal opinion i think the quality needs to be rethought clear plastic really sucks in the chest uh, i hope it doesn't shatter and break as time keeps moving forward it's lasted a year and a half so far you can get that back up on the back there and it tabs in and holds into place really really sturdy there you got all the way around at the waist which is always a plus due to the way his articulation is you can get an ab crunch of sorts or that high of kicks going up that high even going higher and then you can point just a little bit due to the leg articulation there he will sit in the decepticon throne really really good and like a boss so he's got the great sitting position so that he can roll his little part of the decepticon underworld the way he wants to you can see the ugly plastic quality here totally doing its thing in the uv light and uh this just is not cool man i don't really care for that i like that you have pins there you cannot really get a full t and you really can't get the full van damage so it just looks painful all together on that end you can get the back that far you can kick back up that high he's got that much in the knee he's got some pivot front and back there and a little bit of ankle tilt oh he got quite a bit of ankle tilt depending on the leg there nicely detailed leg nice details throughout i like the way they painted that silver and it, this part is uh, the definitive thing I saw first thing when I saw Vector Prime. And that's probably the reason why I did review this guy. Kind of see what we're getting into, where it's going to go. Hopefully they'll strengthen the plastic. They'll fix the colors because me, uh, me and Super Raw Ed agree on the color thing right down to that. But at least you can tuck the damn fins between his legs and uh, do away with that fin altogether on Vector Prime then it might look good might look right then and i don't like the way this keeps opening up on my copy your, like i said your mileage may vary i like to have some uh i don't like the asymmetry so i put this thing away and i tuck it away onto one of the other guns i'm gonna get that configuration and then do the comparison i super duper like that he's got the i got two guns one for the both of you business right here going on it looks really really stellar in this pose with the little green things on the back of his legs tucked in these wings i like them just like in this configuration in both modes that's how i keep it that's a nice place to store it and then there you have it guys so with all that said and done let's do one more comparison speaking of the dual wielding twin guns thing there they are both side by side and this guy is very limited by the design and the lack of hollow filling responsibilities there so i like that this does that better and the orange is really, really appealing over here on this side, but that hollowness is not. And of course, I get this guy to fall down on camera. That's awesome, I fixed it with one hand. My reflexes are getting back to normal post anesthesia last week. I, I just don't handle that stuff very good at all. But uh, there, there you go, there they are. Let's get Jaxus into some final thoughts. Some final thoughts on Jaxus here. You had me at Jetformers back a couple years ago, so much so that I ordered it. it was here when I got home from vacation. But there was that stigma that, you know, with getting sick, I didn't open this guy right away, get him on the review table. I was totally sick that weekend with uh, the second of two, uh, three gallbladder attacks that summer. It was like I had one in June, I had the second one in July when I got Jaxus. That was due, due to eating a fatty filled zaxby's signature chicken sandwich that my body didn't take too well to because i'd been on the planet at that time lost about 100 pounds of weight and when you eat bad stuff then it comes back to you and makes you sick or whatever and uh my body had been accustomed to eating better things than a zaxby's fried greasy chicken sandwich so i've been steering clear of that stuff and then i steer clear to this guy till today what brought me back to the table probably is the fact that we are getting this mold again 
in Nova Prime and I saw Super Eye Ed's uh, video talking about Nova Prime and me and him on the color thing are eye to eye and then I was just kind of curious and I love playing around to see yes we can get rid of those door that dorsal fin so it doesn't stick out when we do get Vector Prime but it's still I wish that they wouldn't just I mean they're the kings of retooling and rehashing a mold to, to many different characters and so it's like they got this guy and they made it a they're going to do a partial to get it into Vector Prime and that kind of thing. I would love to have seen the mini cons and the chips. I, mean, I think they got a chip that goes in his chest, if I remember that correctly. But I mean, the mini cons emitted just like it was emitted with Hot Shot and the other guys. And then they went back and gave us a Power Links Hot Shot with Jolt. But I mean, anyway, that's that's just a bunch of gooey hooey. The, the Armada stuff had. The Armada, the Cybertron, Cybertron trilogy, the Energon, they have mini cons and they should be incorporated into the, the bots with the fuller articulation and not some cheaped out little target master like, uh, gosh, Peacemaker with the uh, point blank. That's, that's just the, the prime example there that of a, of, a, of a garbage way of doing your target masters. I think the target masters should have full-on articulation like their bigger counterparts and transform into the guns and the stuff like that but that's my rant on it again and uh i recommend if you're a fan of this guy he is a pretty cool jet former even though i have no attachment to him whatsoever the face is a beautiful sculpt even though it's so ugly as you know his mama wouldn't even recognize him kind of thing but i i i think he's still worthy of a pickup if you can find him out there and like i said you find him I found them at my Walmart, so that's probably the best spot to look because Target does clearance it and at least get the new stuff in. That's just that part of the distribution wonky again. I'm not going to get too much more into that. I just want to say thank you again for watching my quick review of this guy. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the stuff down below. Thank you guys again for tuning in and watching, sharing some of your valuable time. As I catch up with this mold, one of two that I didn't review that weekend coming home from North Topsail in 2022 due to my second gallbladder attack. I got that popped out last week and when I woke up from the surgery anesthesia, I noticed that back lower rear right pain was totally gone. And everybody, it, it does differently with everybody on how that attacks. It, it took the form of like a stomach bug for three times that one summer in 2022 to me. And then I, on the third attack, it was more intense. I was down for three days with what looked like a never ending stomach flu because I threw up all three days very violently. But don't second guess your health, guys. Go to the doctor, get seen if you got something going on, that kind of thing. And uh, don't second fret your health ever. I, I, I can only praise them for what they did this past weekend and get me to feel better. And hopefully I can keep continuing to bring you this kind of goofiness the rest of the time. I, I'm going to take a more direct stab at, you know, calling them on their quality and stuff. Because we have sunk so much money into this company over the years. They should have our backs back the other way as the consumer that keeps buying the stuff, but they don't right now. And that's that's a practice that's got to change, guys. As I knock the camera around and get a little long-winded in this final thoughts. Awesome figure. Great Decepticon. Love. We need more G2 stuff. And I know that we got a bunch of that last year, but uh, the more the merrier. It's legacy. It's the Transformers legacy across all lines. Keep bringing it out, guys. Find those other figures like Beast Wars that our Beast Wars Neo, bring them to the forefront and give us the other color, recolors and paints, but please do it with top quality. Not half assness, not cheap plastics, not stuff that's going to yellow and do that stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great evening out there. Have a happy Memorial Day weekend in 2024. Till all are one.